Close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths, and see how that feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Make it more shallow, make it shorter, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Get a sense of what the body needs right now. When the body is well nourished by the breath, then the mind will find it a lot easier to stay in the present moment. And this is important, because all the important decisions in life are made in the present moment, and all too often we're not here. We're off someplace else. And yet you don't make important decisions in the past. Those were made in the past, but it was the present moment at the time. This is this present moment, so you've got to keep an eye on what these choices are being made, which choices are being made right now. Are they skillful or are they not? What kind of results are they going to lead to? Even sim the simple act of focusing on one thing rather than another can sometimes have huge repercussions on your life. So you want to have some control over what the mind is doing here in the present moment, and that means you've got to be here alert in the present moment. This is why we focus on the breath. The breath gives you a good foundation in the present, and it can make it pleasant so that you can be here with a sense of ease and well-being, and not be antsy, wanting to run off to the past and the future all the time. This way you get some control over your life. Otherwise, who knows making, who's making the decisions? A lot of them get made on automatic pilot. And so Sometimes if people ask you, why did you do that? Why did you say that? You have to think for a bit, and you say you don't really know. You may come up with an idea and think it was probably this or probably that, but if you don't know, it means you don't know what's shaping your life and how it's being shaped. And here you are irresponsible about the number one issue in your life, and how can you be expected to be responsible about, it, about anything else? So make sure you get to know the present moment really well. So you can see clearly when the mind makes a choice, it wants to do this or say that or think about this or focus on that. What is it doing? Why is it doing? What do you expect to get out of it? You've got to take this seriously, because if you don't take this seriously, who knows what's going to shape your mind? All your old habits just keep repeating themselves over and over again. You never get a chance to change. So learn how to be at home in the present moment, so you can do some work in the present moment, too. The right work of shaping your life in terms of your thoughts and your words and your deeds in the direction you want to go.